Hello people, today we will talk about Daniel Boone. Daniel Boone was an American frontiersman, explorer, and folk hero who became legendary for his exploration and settlement of Kentucky. Boone's life and adventures, often romanticized, made him one of the most iconic figures in American frontier history. Daniel Boone was born on November 2, 1734, in Berks County, Pennsylvania, to Squire Boone and Sarah Morgan. He grew up in a Quaker family on the Pennsylvania frontier, where he learned hunting, tracking, and survival skills from an early age. Boone developed a deep love for the wilderness, and by his teens, was already known as an accomplished hunter and marksman. In 1750, the Boone family moved to the North Carolina frontier, where Daniel continued to hone his skills as a woodsman. He married Rebecca Bryan in 1756, and together they had ten children. Boone's early adventures were shaped by the French and Indian War, 1754-1763, during which he served as a wagoner in the British Army. After the war, Boone became intrigued by the tales of unexplored lands to the west, particularly the area known as Kentucky. At the time, Kentucky was part of the vast territory claimed by various Native American tribes, including the Shawnee and Cherokee. In 1767, Boone made his first trip to Kentucky, and his explorations continued over the next several years. Boone's forays would make him one of the first American frontiersmen to blaze a trail into the West. Boone's most famous achievement came in 1775, when he was hired by the Transylvania Company to help establish a trail through the Cumberland Gap, a natural pass in the Appalachian Mountains. This trail, known as the Wilderness Road, became the primary route for settlers moving into Kentucky. Boone and his party founded Boonesboro, one of the first American settlements west of the Appalachian Mountains. However, the settlement was not without challenges, as Boone and the settlers frequently clashed with Native American groups who resisted the encroachment on their lands. One of the most famous incidents in Boone's life occurred in 1778, when he was captured by Shawnee warriors while on a hunting expedition. Boone was taken to the Shawnee village, where he was adopted into the tribe. After living with the Shawnee for several months, Boone escaped and returned to Boonesboro, warning the settlers of an impending attack. His timely return helped the settlers prepare for and successfully defend the fort during a siege. Following the American Revolutionary War, Boone continued his role as a leader in the settlement of Kentucky, although he struggled with land claims and financial difficulties. He served in the Virginia State Legislature and was involved in various land speculation ventures, many of which were unsuccessful. In the early 1790s, Boone moved further west, eventually settling in what is now Missouri, then part of Spanish-controlled Louisiana. He received a large land grant from the Spanish government and lived there peacefully for many years, continuing to hunt and explore well into his later years. Daniel Boone died on September 26, 1820, in Missouri at the age of 85. By the time of his death, Boone had become a legend in his own lifetime. Stories of his exploits, both real and exaggerated, were published in books, transforming him into a folk hero. Boone represented the ideal of the rugged American frontiersman, self-reliant, adventurous, and unafraid of the unknown. Daniel Boone's contributions to American westward expansion were significant. His exploration and settlement of Kentucky opened the door for thousands of settlers to move westward, and the Wilderness Road became a critical pathway in the westward migration of American pioneers. Despite the myths that surround him, Boone's actual achievements as a trailblazer and defender of the frontier made him a symbol of American courage and perseverance. His name is immortalized in numerous landmark schools and towns, including Boone, North Carolina, and Daniel Boone National Forest in Kentucky. Boone's life and legacy continue to be celebrated in American culture, as an emblem of the pioneering spirit that shaped the early United States. I ask you to like the video, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. See you later.